session one introduction to networking agenda of the session is networking terminology network building blocks standard network models network topologies and network categories let's go one by one network ter terminology what are computer network and protocol what is a computer network we'll go from very basics computer network is a setup where it connect two or more devices these devices may be computers these devices may be routers which is anything mobile printers systems anything to share a range of services and information in the form of emails and messages and databases documents websites audio videos telephone calls video conference etc everything all inclusive that is computer network a protocol is nothing but a set of defined rules which has to be followed by every connected device across a network to communicate and share information among them a reference model by definition a network reference model serve as a blueprint detailing standards for how protocol communication should occur the most widely recognized reference models are the open system interconnect that is osi model and the departments of defense that is dod also known as tcpip model meaning is simple from where we should take reference what is the standard because everything has to be in a relation with something existing there has to be some conventions some acceptance i'll tell you in a simplest form of uh, simplest language the white color is white why because you have been following it you have been agreeing on this there's no way to prove a white color as white color because there's you will compare it with some other color that's it similarly what binary digits will represent which character there has to be standards which has to be enforced and adopted and accepted so the reference model set serve as a blueprint for these standards so two widely accepted reference models are osi model and dod model that is tcpip model some other terms latency bandwidth throughput what these terms are in a networking latency refer to amount of time in milliseconds it takes for data to travel from one location to another across a network blueprint or oh sorry bandwidth and throughput these two terms are sometimes used interchangeably and though they are related they are not quite the same they both refer to the amount of data transferred between two points on a network in a given period of time to be very important they both refer to the amount of data transferred between two points on a given network in a given period of time means per second per minute or per uh, unit of time how much data can be transferred through the network communication channel that refers to bandwidth or throughput in other words how many bits per second can be sent or you can send across your network is over your internet connection that is the bandwidth or throughput intranet extranet and internet internet is shared content accessed by members within a single organization that is intranet local intranet refer to networking within an organization or local to the organization within a given boundary within a given radius or parameter maybe let's say 1 km 2 km extra net is shared content across by group through cross enterprise boundaries 
meaning two different companies within same metropolitan city or two neighboring companies but yes across the outside the company outside the perimeter of the company and internet is global communication which is a hybrid network of networking uh, hybrid hybrid network of networks where different type of networks are connected through channels through gateways through bridges through uh, switches where you can access from anywhere in the world so across the web transmission mode transmission mode means the transferring of data between two devices three possible modes are there simplex half duplex and full duplex very simple example i can quote from real life to understand simplex meaning is one time or one sided like your telephone or your radio or sorry your radio or tv when you talk about radio you can listen you cannot shout back your tv also the same thing so whether it is radio or tv it is one way that is called simplex if you recollect the example of walkie talkie that is called half duplex because at one point in time only one person can speak if you are talking other person has to listen he cannot he or she cannot talk parallelly simultaneously that is called half duplex full duplex is like telephone lines where you can talk other can talk sometime it become noise also because both can listen to each other that's called full duplex so the three transmission modes simplex half duplex and full duplex simplex absolutely one way half duplex two way but one at a time full duplex two way but both can speak at parallelly at the same time mac address media access control address is globally unique identifier globally point to be noted globally unique identifier assigned to network devices and therefore it is often referred to as a hardware or physical address no two devices on internet can have same physical mac address mac addresses are 6 byte that is 48 bit in length and are written in this format m m m m m m and then s s s s s s format the first three bytes i'm talking about these three bytes are the id number of the manufacturer who developed it like the company and then next three bytes are the serial number assigned by the manufacturer hence we are globally able to identify who was the manufacturer and what was the serial number internally given by that manufacturer for this device so this four with the manufacturer and serial number the mac address becomes the unique across all the devices over the internet in in the entire world then internet networking related terms we use these terms and systems that is es in short devices attached to one of the network of internet it supports end user applications or services then we have intermediate systems that is is the devices the device used to connect two networks it permit communication between end system attached to different networks that means it is a bridge or it is a switch or any anything uh, which connect two networks bridge is used to connect two lands using similar lan protocols address filtering uh, filtering passing one packet to required network only and osi layer 2 where it is represented that is data link layer in osi layer osi has seven levels uh, seven seven layers for this communication router connect two possibly dissimilar networks see the difference between here bridge connect two similar devices router connect two dissimilar devices or dissimilar networks it uses internet protocol present in each router and uh, the end system 
and uh, router works in layer 3 that is network layer of uh, OSI model. So end system ES, intermediate system IS, bridge, router. These are inter-networking terms we use in networking. So these were some of the uh, important terminologies if you are absolutely new for networking. And we have some of the participants here who are absolutely new to networking. We use these terms. Networking building blocks. Networking building blocks are network classifications, LAN standards, network devices, clients, server and peers, topology, network links and protocols. We need to understand one by one network classifications personal area network pan this is basically interconnection of personal digital devices your bluetooth is connected to your mobile your mobile is connected to your laptop through bluetooth your personal digital device is connected local area network is lan usually connect computers in a single building or for a company one organization metropolitan area network is public high speed network with range of about 50 miles means the boundary of one metropolitan city and then wide area network consists of several smaller networks network devices each connection points to on a network is referred to as a node to connect to a LAN, a computer requires network circuitry, sometimes referred to as a network interface card or NIC. A networked peripheral or network enabled peripheral is any device that contains network circuitry to directly connect to a network. A network device or network appliance is any electronic device that broadcasts network data, boosts signals or routes data to its destination. We use these devices. The first device we use is notice what we are connecting like computer. We call them as node. Second is what component in the node will be used as a gateway or the point of connection just like in your house your main door is your entry point so in the computer which is that component that component is internet network interface card or nic or nic then we have uh, cables then we have uh, other you know devices which will route the traffic something like when you are out of your house then we have roads and uh, streets and everything to connect from one house to another or maybe signals so uh, to boost the signal so in networking dictionary in a networking line we use a lot of devices like uh, boosters routers bridges switches we use them modems then we have uh, some other terms like clients, servers and peers. Network devices can function as a client or as a server. Client means who is taking the services. Server who is giving services. Like application server, file server, print server. As you can imagine here, application is working as an application endpoint. File is offering the file services. Printer print server is offering print services network that include one or more servers can operate in client server model so one will be offering the services other will be taking the services all web servers database servers uh, FTP servers NFS servers storage servers they offer they work in client server model there is one component which offer these services rest all who are taking the services they are called as clients so this is called client concept and servers concept 
where we are talking about client and server. But if we don't have any client model, service model, we call it as a peer-to-peer -peer connection. This example is peer-to-peer. -peer. Three laptops connected to each other. None of them is server. None of them is uh, client. All are independent laptops. However, if we have a central server which is offering the services to clients, we call it as a client server model. This is offering some kind of server, some kind of services, whether it be application services or file services or printing services. The server is attached to printer or storage or whatever, or application is running, and the clients are accessing those applications or the storage or anything which is available on the server. This model is the client server model. This model is peer to peer model. So, peer client servers three, three, three components peers comes into picture when there's no client no server means no hierarchy flat structure no parent no child nobody is offering services nobody is giving services simple connections like brother siblings you can think of that way from visual uh, picture if you want so peer as i said brother sisters are peers but then client server was one who is sitting at the bigger picture who is offering services that is server clients are taking services then we have standard network models a network model is a design specification for how nodes on a network interact and communicate the network model determines the degree to which communication and processing are centralized or distributed there are three primary network models, centralized or hierarchical, client server and peer to peer, peer to peer. Centralized model. Centralized computing network is a network in which a central host computer controls all network communications and perform data processing and storage on behalf of clients. Users connect to the host via dedicated terminal or terminal emulators. Means there is one centralized server. We used to have this concept earlier, I remember, where dumber terminals were used to connect to the centralized server and they never had any processing power of their own, but they used to take everything from the centralized server. So the client used to be dumb clients, dumb client A, dumb client B, no processing power but centralized server is doing everything so they are just communicating with the centralized server taking data and instructions and services and offering them to the end result end user that is centralized model client server model clients also have processing power here they have their independent existence also but server is also offering services which clients intend to take from the server so this network is a network in which servers provide services to clients. Typically, there is a, at least one server providing central authorization or authentication services. Central authentication services refer to identity services or authentication means uh, username, password, credentials, you are valid user or not. Server also provide access to shared files, shared printers, hardware and applications. In a client server network, processing power, management services and administrative functions can be concentrated where needed, while client can still perform many basic end user tasks on their own. This is what I try to differentiate between the centralized model which was discussed in the previous slide and client server model where the terminal were dumb they were not intelligent they had no processing power but here in client server they can do their own work also they have their own functionality also that is client server model peer to peer model is a model in which resource sharing processing and communication controls are completely centralized all clients on a network are equal as i said equal to brothers brothers and sisters in terms of providing and using resources 
and users are authenticated by each individual workstation means every node computer terminal server whatever we call it they have their own authentication system easy and inexpensive model in terms of configuration and implementation however they are only practical in very small organization where you are some uh, something like distributing independent laptops and everybody is independently working but then you are taking uh, you know consolidating the work done by the developers or these individual team members uh, at the end of the day or end of the week due to lack of central data storage and administration because they, they as i said they are very very specific uh, uh, to very small organizations they can't be uh, implemented or used in big organizations network topologies is the next topic lan topology physical and logical physical describe geometric arrangements of component that make up the lan geometric arrangement meaning they are in the form of a star or in the form of a bus or in the, in the form of a hierarchy how they are connected that is physical arrangement then logical describe possible connections between pairs of network and points that can communicate so physical and logical these are two different categories of topologies we can divide based on physical we can divide based on logical so let's talk about physical first physically if you want to divide we have these four different examples there are more but these are four typical like bus topology this is bus example where we have central cable terminator and the nodes are connected to this bus this works like a, a token packet start from here will have a token the token has the details for which client or for which node this packet is so it will pass through the bus the the terminal or the client which uh, has the associated details in the token will grab the token and will grab the data so only one client can send the data at a time and it will travel through the bus so bus topology then we have ring topology this is example of ring topology then we have switched that is central switch or hub and then terminals are connected so these are different physical arrangements star bus ring different topologies then we can have a switched topology also so these are different uh, topologies based on physical arrangement switched topology a switch is a multi port data link layer device a switch learns media access control addresses and stores them in an internal lookup table temporary switched paths are created between the frames originator and its intended recipient and the frames are forwarded along with the temporary path the switched topology features multiple connections to a switching hub or switch that is switched topology so it basically learn this mac addresses or media access addresses or the physical addresses which i talked about consist of two parts remember manufacturer and serial number and store them internal lookup table means we kind of create a directory create a notebook remember them and then the paths are created between these originator and destination where the intended recipient is that's a switched address so directly it can forward the traffic forward the packet to the destination then wide area network topologies wan peer to peer wans ring wans star wans and hybrids wide area wide area means not within organization outside the scope of organization so in wide area network we have these topologies like this is a peer to peer topology this example is a ring wan and this is a star wan or hybrids so there are different topologies in wan also wide area network also and if you see the device to connect the two is this is a switch or a router we generally this figure represent a router 
because the network might be different because infrastructure might be different so when we have dissimilar or different type of devices or networks which needs to be connected then we use routers then network categories categories of networks review personal area networks local area networks storage area network SAN metropolitan area networks MAN and wide area network WAN. Alright, that's all for this session. Thank you very much.